welcome back to my channel so I am back today with a tutorial for the look on my face right now this is actually the look that I would try to create in my drunk no thumbs makeup challenge this was the exact look I was going for but as you guys know things took a tragic turn for the worst right smack dab in the middle of the video and I started watching funny videos and ruined everything I mean let's be honest the look was busted from the beginning but it's okay I did the best I could being intoxicated okay and on top of being intoxicated I didn't have my thumbs to use either so I did the best with what I could so for today's look I went ahead and used two different palettes both of which are brand new to me as you guys know the first one is the electric palette from Urban Decay I am in love with this palette so and the other palette I used is the Black Light Highlight Palette from BH Cosmetics. More specifically, I used the shade Queen right here. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys, just in case you guys didn't see my BH Cosmetics video about this palette. That's what it looks like on the hand without any other shadows behind it. But I absolutely love this palette so, so much. So the reason I wanted to use this palette in particular in this video is because, as you guys know, I made a video comparing this palette to the Kat Von D Alchemist palette, and as you guys also know, I found dupes for almost every single shade in the Alchemist palette in this BH Cosmetics palette. The one question I've seen asked many, many times is if these are also good at transforming eyeshadows, and I'm going to show you guys in this video they actually are. I was very surprised at how beautiful these look both on the cheek, which I'm wearing on my cheek right now, and on the lid on top of a very, very dark eyeshadow. But honestly, you don't have to use a black eyeshadow. I just think it looks really, really cool on top of black. You can use whatever eyeshadow you want, and this palette will transform any eyeshadow. I will have this palette linked down below for you guys in case you guys want to pick it up, which I hope you guys do. That hurt. But anyways, I'm going to get on out of here and start editing this video for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. As always, if you like this video or any of my other videos, leave a like and subscribe if you're not already. If you if you have any requests for any future tutorials, leave those all down below as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Enjoy! Hey guys, welcome back. So the first thing we're going to do is prime our lids. Actually put a base down. This is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer. As you can see, it's very, very pigmented. And we're going to blend that out with our finger. And then I'm going to pick up just any off-white shade. And we're going to set that base just to ensure that nothing creases while I wear it. Alright, so now I'm going to pick up this mid-tone light brown shade, and we're going to blend that into the crease area to start the deepening process to really bring this look a very, very smoky effect. And then we're going to pick up that reddish brown right there, and we're going to place that into the outside corner and also the crease. When it comes to doing looks like these, I like to have at least like two or three extra clean blending brushes, just to make sure I have no harsh lines anywhere on my face. Alright, so now all I'm going to do is layer on a couple layers of this black eyeshadow, building everything up gradually. Alright, so all I'm doing right now is building up that black eyeshadow and then blending it out as I go, just to make sure, like I said earlier, there's no harsh lines anywhere. And I also want to point out that I'm doing my foundation after I do my black eyeshadow just because I know myself and I know how clumsy I am and I know fallout would be an issue on my face. So do what you want, but I'm going to do it last. Alright, so now we're going to go into the Black Light Highlight Palette from BH Cosmetics into the shade Queen. And you're going to see right here just how beautiful this shade looks on the lid over top a black eyeshadow. Like I said, you could use any eyeshadow in conjunction with this palette and it's going to transform it into something amazing. So this is one of those looks that kind of looks weird before you're done with it, but just keep on with it and keep blending. I promise it's going to look amazing. So this is my first time experimenting with these little single strip lashes and they're a pain in the ass, so I have those on. I'm doing right now is tight lining my upper lash line. Because you guys have seen me do my foundation routine a million times, I did that off camera. So now all I'm going to do is finish off the eyes. I'm going to take the electric palette and go into the shade Chaos and blend that into the bottom lash line. There's a little bit of fallout left over, so all I'm doing right now is brushing that all the way. And now I'm going to take that infallible pencil. This is in the shade Teal from L'Oreal. And we're going to run that along the waterline on the bottom lash line. And then I'm going to take the shade Chaos one more time and blend that into that teal shade. Some of my ending clips got fucked up. I don't know how. I don't know what happened, but it is what it is. We'll move on from it. So all I did to finish off the look was apply the strobe highlighter from the Black Light Highlight Palette to both the inner corners of my eyes and also the apples of my cheeks to bring some glow to the look and then I applied some of the bare all lipstick from wet and wild but that is all for today's look hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did let me know I'll talk to you guys later bye